Hi, it's Mohammed here, and today I want to share with you four fire ways that you can deal with customer complaints and handle them as a professional. So, negative feedback and complaints is inevitable in business, and the best thing that you can do is have a strategy to be able to handle these complaints in an effective manner for both yourself and for your customer. So, here we go. Here are four ways that you can handle uh, customer complaints a lot better. The first step is to listen carefully and identify the problem, right? So what you want to do is you want to listen to what the problem is from the customer. Don't butt in. Don't try and make any excuses. Listen intently to what the problem is and acknowledge it with the customer, what their concern is and respond to them with empathy. Right, And then you want to make sure at the same time that you are taking notes and recording down what this complaint is that the customer is having. Right, So that's the first step. The second step is to genuinely apologize on behalf of your business for the error or the complaint. Accept re responsibility all right, for either yourself or your staff. As a business leader, you are, you are responsible for anything that your staff does. Right, And at the same time, thank the customer for bringing the matter to your attention. Because if they didn't um, come and complain to your business, you wouldn't know what was going on in your, in, with your staff and also how your customers are receiving uh, the service that's going on with, you in, with your business. So generally apologize. And then number two, thank them for bringing this matter to your attention. The third thing you want to do is then provide a solution to the problem, right? So uh, after listening intently to the customer and then accepting responsibility and thanking them, then work out a solution to that problem to the customer. You might ask them, what do you think is uh, the best way forward from here onwards, right? How would you like this problem to be resolved? So you could ask them that. Doesn't mean that that's what you're gonna do, but you can ask them that and then you can work through solving that problem together with the customer. A couple of things that you could try, and again, depending on the situation, is you might offer them, you know, some sort of consolation as a, you know, maybe a gift or a voucher or a discount on, on uh, you know, any future, further um, uh, orders that they may place or products that they may purchase from you, right? So providing a solution to the customer. And then the fourth, and then the very last thing is to, once you've done the first three steps and you've offered a solution and the customer's gone away, after a couple of days, follow up with the customer. Check in with them, right? Find out if they are satisfied with the way that the complaint was resolved. Uh, is there anything else that you can kind of help them with? If the complaint, if it's still in that process of being resolved, well, then find out from them, you know, what else needs to be done. So there's quite a few things that you can do to sort of definitely handle complaints with customers. And then very lastly, this is then, let's say, the, the, the final step that you want to do here is start to document that and set up a process and a procedure for handling any future problems and uh, complaints that you have with your customers. So there you have it. Those are some of the best ways that you can handle customer complaints.